Here I'm going to uh, show you how does a teacher to invite their students to join the room and how can teacher to join the room. Uh, for our system, you know, we don't limit for the host or for uh, because we only recognize host as a as a password or we call it moderator. Like you see here, you will see like we all have the, uh, the we have two password. One password is for the host one password is for the student when you create your room your classroom you have to make those two password difference because once you join as a moderator or as a teacher or as a host because those three words are, are same in our system in the same uh, like a host uh, same function and if they join to the room they have more control on the classroom they can mute user, they can kick up user, they, they are more like a teacher in, in the real classroom, they can do much things. But if you join as attendee password, and you are joined just like, a, I mean, of course, like a student. And uh, of course, you, you also can, can share your camera and can listening, but you have less control uh, on, on the things, like you cannot share the screen unless the teacher can allow you to do. And uh, so this is the things you have to understand first. Uh, the thing is, is the password or for attendee or the password for moderator or uh, or in the school. I mean, we call attendee is a student and uh, moderator is teacher. And also here uh, for yourself, if you want to join a room, you just click join and uh, it will go to the, the room page. And you can click, you can input your name. Still, here is it's not your username. You can put any name. You can name your teacher, teacher one, teacher math, teacher English, or your just your 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 own name. And also here is the very important thing: password for moderator or for teacher. I mean, if you want to join as teacher, uh, then you have to input the password for the moderator. And also, if you want to invite your students to join the room, the thing is here because we, we make it easy for, for you. Like if you want to copy the link, uh, you just click copy the link. Okay, link has been copied. You can use Control plus V or Command plus V to paste. This link can be shared with anyone to log in this classroom already already writing here. I mean, now let's see if you want to uh, copy and paste. And it will work like here. It will seem. Of course, you can share this link to any of you, of your student students to ask them to to join you in the classroom. And also, some of uh, teacher or they would like to have the password of the attendee here, writing here, because it's easy for students. Once they log in the page, they see the page, they know the password, and they can input the password, and also have a name, the student's name, then they can log in. And also some of the teachers, they don't want to make the password or the room key public. So they, you can just, of course, well, when you are inviting your students, uh, whether you are using the uh, scheduling system or you are you just using uh, a WhatsApp message or something or email, you can write in your password, like uh, whatever the password you set it for the room, and then your your uh, your students will know the class uh, will, will know the classroom password and they they input their students' name, student one, student two, and have a password. Then click join. Then they will join. This is the things uh, how, do, how how it works in our system. Remember the name, just user not not username is their own name, or the name displayed in the classroom. The password was if you want to join as an attendee, then attendee password. If you want to join as a moderator, then a moderator password. And here, here you will find the link. I mean, you share the link with your students. Or you click join and you can join by yourself from from the page. That's it.